All right, to start your app, let's have a look at how to organize your data. Apps are simply a way to interact with data. So everything we're gonna do builds off of this. This video is a part of my sales CRM course. Be sure to check out the full series by following the link in the description. Alrighty, once you download your template, you'll land on a screen inside of Glide that looks like this. And to start, we're gonna turn to the data tab. And in Glide, the data is displayed in a simple spreadsheet that has tabs, columns, and rows. Now in this template, the core data you're gonna be working with are these first three tabs here. We have team members. These are all the people that can access your app. Let's go ahead and add myself as a team member. Next, we have accounts, and these are all the companies that you're tracking inside of the CRM. So these are your actual clients. Now this table is uh, a lot bigger. There's a lot more columns going on here. We have uh, their name, their team size, their location, description, industry, all through and a ton of other stuff uh, down the line there. Now inside of Glide, let's say that you want to start tracking something different. Let's go ahead and add a new column and let's say you want to store maybe their product or service. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this company sells, let's say AI bots for managers. All right, so that is the product or service that they sell. So these are actual columns that are storing our information. But Glide, built into all this, they have what are called computed columns and there's hundreds of these. So let me just show you one. So let's say I'm gonna add a new column and I'm gonna call this is local. And this is gonna be to track to see if this company that is in our CRM, are they local? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, that we're gonna make this an if then else. If the location, so that's this field right here, if includes San Fran, then I'm gonna say it's true, they are a local company. If not, we'll say false, they are not local. And so now we have a field that we can filter on later to say, is the company local? And so here we can see Macro and Tech Vance are both local companies. Now Glide has hundreds of these computed columns. You have everything from integrations with other platforms to AI to create generated AI content based off your data. Now the third core table that you're gonna be working with inside of the CRM is your contacts. This looks very similar to your accounts table, except here we're actually talking about people instead of companies. But one important thing to note is how do we know what company or account this contact is a part of? That can be found over here to the right under accounts. You can see here we have the company name macro, and then here we have a relation or a link to the macro company. If we remove this, then that link goes away. If we add another company name, then now they're linked to that company. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back to macro. This is an important concept when we think about building apps. We wanna store different types of information in different tables, but we wanna be able to link them. And in Glide, we do that through relations. Now these other four tables, these are what we call helper tables. They don't really store information about our companies or our contacts, but they help us either display things or reference things throughout our app. This first helper table is actually called helper table, and this populates the dropdowns in our app. So for example, here we have industry, and so whenever we wanna select an industry in a dropdown in our app, we're actually pulling from this list of industries. We have a dashboard helper table. This is going to help us when aggregating things across all of our accounts and displaying those on our CRM dashboard. We have months. This is gonna help us show how we're performing over months. So you can see here the accounts signed value. Basically we're looking up information from our accounts table and then summarizing how many people signed and their contract value in September. Finally, we have statuses. This is broken out into another table so that we can do uh, different charts and things. But also when you wanna actually customize this for your business, if you wanted to change these status labels, so instead of stage one, maybe your status is you've had a meeting and status two is you've sent a proposal, you would actually do that right here and it would update everything throughout the app. Now these helper tables, these are pretty advanced, so don't get too bogged down by the details here. What I want you to focus on is adding your team members, your accounts, and your contacts. Now the easiest way to do this is to right click on one of these tabs and export. This is gonna export the format and show you what format you need to format your data in. 
then you can go and manipulate that in your spreadsheet software. And then whenever you want to upload things, you can just come here and import that data. And when you want to remove other pieces of data, all you need to do is left click on one of these rows and click delete. But fair warning, there is no undo when you delete something inside of Glide. So just make sure you know what you're doing. All right, that is how to set up the data inside of your app. To get access to the template I'm using, be sure to check out the description below. In the next video, we'll look at designing the screens of your app. See you there.